Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back down to the workshop. So it's been a while again. Been a quick bit hectic, but we're getting there. Um, yeah, so today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I built the Axe of Godfrey from Elden Ring, I believe it was from. Uh, it's already, the item's already gone, uh, but I will put a picture up this side. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can see that I, how I did it. Uh, again, I won't be doing so much on the painting side because I've done enough videos on those. You can see those before. Check out my other videos. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me. I appreciate it. Uh, you can watch us live on Twitch most weekdays in the mornings, my time, GMT time. Um, and uh, yeah, or you could subscribe to the Patreon where you get updates with all the in-progress work that I do throughout the week. Um, it's a dollar a month or you could put as much as you want through it. But I really do appreciate it, guys. It keeps me in here, keeps me building for you a lot. And uh, yeah. Let's jump straight into the video, shall we? Okay, so starting here with our 10 mil core, it needs to be 10 mil minimum for this, otherwise it's gonna to be too wavy. And we're adding a layer of eight mil foam that I'm gonna wrap around this core trim it up, make it nice and smooth, and then I'm gonna add yet another layer of eight mil, which will give us 16 mil wrap around the core, and that's just gonna be our shaft that we're gonna start working with, and that's gonna be a, well, 12 millimeters is a minimum requirement for safety. This is gonna have 16. This cleanup process doesn't have to be too smooth, we're just taking off any rough edges or any lines, so when we add the next layer of 8mm onto it, it's not going to be a bulge sticking out underneath. So adding this second layer of 8mm foam is going to give us 16mm coverage over the core. Now safety specs only require 12 but we can always shave a little bit off or smooth anything down. This is just to make sure that everything's safe from the shaft to the head and everything. Okay now the shaft the shaft is done we're going to start adding some details so here I'm just marking out where I'm going to be putting a ring on it and then I'm cutting out a small section just to round out so it looks like it's a, a conclave shape on underneath the ring so this is cut out with a little bit of the knife and then use the Dremel to smooth up Once we're done with the Dremel, always go back in with a little hand sander, a little bit of elbow grease, just smooth it all off nice and round, and then using the heat gun to seal that foam. Apologies for the poor angle on this one, but here, all I've done is took some scrap foam, cut it into a strip, and you can see me adding this to the shaft, just to make it like a ring effect. Now this will be chopped smooth and sanded down and these rings will remain there and give a nice bit of detail. This next detail I use string, just simple ball of string, and glue it to the shaft, give it several good wrap rounds, make it look nice and rough, uh, and when we latex over the top of it, it'll prevent anybody getting rope burns. On this ring we're just burning on some chevrons 
and these are going to be spaced apart all the way around using a wood burner please make sure you're using a respirator or and you're out in a well ventilated area as the fumes from this would be toxic Now on to the head. Now before we just start cutting up foam, we're going to draw and design the actual scale part of the head. Now for this, I'm just drawing up a template on paper. I'll put several pieces of paper, draw it all out, make sure I've got the shaft uh, core in the right place, marked all up, and then cut that out and then transfer that to foam, of which I'll probably cut out five to six layers and then glue them together using uh, some reinforcement on the first one. Now that our temple's finished, we can start adding, uh, transferring this to foam rather. Uh, we're going to cut out about five or six of these and then glue them all together. So you might want a few more, just depends on the thickness of the head that you want.
Once all our heads are cut out, we need to take one of them and cut out a center piece ready for our core to go in. Here you can see me inserting it. It's been glued up both sides of the, uh, of the foam and the core itself. Make sure you leave enough room at the top. You need at least an inch of foam between the top of the ax head and the core. Now we're gonna be adding a bobble piece to the top of it anyway, but uh, this just makes it easy to leave a little bit of foam attached. Next up it's time for the reinforcement. Now here I'm just using simple nylon cut to a smaller shape and I'm adding a little bit to the neck and uh, over both sides of the core. Now you're going to do this both sides of the axe and once that's tight and glued down properly we can add our other layers to it and it'll give it a nice good reinforce. Now our reinforcement is done, we can start adding these axe head layers. Uh, just do one side and then the other and keep alternating. Make sure you squash all the air out, you want a nice good solid join. And once you've got to the thickness you need, then we can start on the rest. To join the shaft up to the head, I just simply added layer upon layer upon layer of foam, gluing it all together, make sure it's squashed all the air out and then once that's built up to the same width as the rest of the shaft i can then trim it all nice and neat and then we can move on to the next part after we've built up the neck to the right length we can trim it all down with a knife ready for the dremel as well as trimming up all the other edges so both the blade and the other edge that's going to be like a spike the head the underneath all trim it up with a knife ready for the dremel Once we've used the Dremel or the rotary tool to clean up any of the edges, it's always time to go back in with a bit of hand sanding and a bit of elbow grease just to finish all those off. Don't forget to use a heat gun afterwards just to seal all the foam. Once everything's smooth and to your liking, we could start adding the other details. And here you can see me marking out the area. I'm going to add another layer of 8mm to both sides and then chamfer that down to give me a raised uh, blade edge so it's slightly higher than the rest of the axe and then we chamfer it smooth into a blade edge. With the raised edge added just go back over fill in any gaps with a little bit of foam and then the heat gun and then sand it smooth with a hand sander this will give you a nice smooth edge finish and we can start adding all the detail like on this other end just with a bit of dremel or cutting out a few little pieces gives us a nice rough edge uh, then we can go on to the uh, middle section of the detail and the rest of it On the middle of the head of this section that carries on from the shaft there are two raised spikes all i've done is glued several layers of eight mil foam together and I, as you can see here i'm just marking out where i'm going to cut i'm going to chamfer them down take them onto the sander or the dremel smooth them up and then they'll be glued onto the axe Also on each of those spikes there is uh, some line detail just going down the seams. Um, so we're using a wood burner here and a metal ruler. Please be careful, don't burn yourself. Just follow the edges, burn down it nice and gently and it gives it like this um, burnt runway down the sides, down these edges of the spikes.
Apologies here, uh, the camera didn't seem to pick up me building the uh, top bobble section of this axe. All I did literally was build up a multiple layers of 8mm foam glued together to the right thickness and then I shaped it into a bobble head with a conclave section underneath it leading shallow at the top and wider at the bottom which then was glued onto the axe and a ring was then added to give us more detail. Now in order to finish the top of the shaft off we added yet another ring just underneath the head which glues up the head and the neck nice and tight and then we're going back in with the soldering iron or the wood burner tool and burning in the chamfer it's like we did at the bottom end of the shaft. We then can add uh, the, another layer of the rope glued on wrapped in a rough binding all the way around the top and that should finish the shaft detail. Next we go back onto the head detail. Now this is the pattern that was on the head, it's on both sides and a little bit on the damage side. Now for this as you can see I used a template and then I transferred that template to the foam and now I'm cutting that out and then it will be glued onto the head on both sides. One way of transferring the pattern to the foam without having to cut it all out is place it onto the foam and just press a little bit firmly with a pen or a blunt object and just trace the lines and you'll be left with an imprint on the foam and then you can go over it with a knife or just over the pen and then cut it out. It's up to you. Finally using the wood burning tool again, I'm just going in adding any little details I need to, uh, you know, like making uh, alteration of grooves where it's needed. Uh, also on the main shaft there was several little uh, studs that we added. These are just 8mm foam or 5mm foam cut into a circle and then rounded with a uh, Dremel or the wood burner just taking the little edges off and then heat sealed the, the whole thing ready to go. So there we are guys, at the end of the video. Thank you very much for sticking with it this long. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have fun trying to build one of your own. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe and give a thumbs up or leave us a comment. Uh, if you'd like to show us some of the work that you've done with help of some of these videos, that'd be great. Send it over to us and, and uh, we have a Discord channel and we you can get me on Twitch during the week. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one guys. I hope you've enjoyed and... I shall see you on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.